Welcome everybody! Today we are diving into a new simulator because Microprose has given me access to the long-awaited sequel Combat Air Patrol 2. For those of you who are not old enough to remember Combat Air Patrol on the Amiga, that's where it all started. Blue Zero, you are clear to take off. Pretty darn good, isn't it? Well, that was 1993. Now let's take a look at what we've got in 2024. Yeah, rock and roll, baby! If you like the Harrier, you will love this sim. Cap 2 is primarily a flight simulator of the AV-8B Harrier 2. But you can also fly the V-22 Osprey, the A-400M Atlas, the KC-767 Tanker and the SH-60 Seahawk. But let's concentrate on the Harrier because it's pretty detailed and uh, yeah, pretty good actually. This is early access so you might encounter some bugs and imperfections but it's pretty solid. This is not an arcade simulation, I found it very detailed in terms of flight model, aircraft systems and physics. It's not as hard a core as uh, DCS, but it's not far off. The cockpit is full interactive and uh, supports VR, which looks very nice. Yeah, the graphic is not bad at all. It's very rich. Right now you have access to free flight, flight training and weapons training. But with the next updates, you'll also be able to use ground vehicles, engage in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, explore different game modes and, hold on, a dynamic campaign. They've provided a roadmap, so you can get an idea of what to expect. This is the roadmap. I think it's not definitive, but as you can see, a lot of things are in the works. This sim is published by Microprose and developed by Sim155, a British software studio. Its main developer worked on Combat Air Patrol in the 90s, so I believe nobody on the planet would have been better suited to work on this sequel. But let's move on. I wanted to test the VR aspect of it, especially since I'm not able to fly with Track AR anymore, so I tried to shoot some missiles through the crystal. The R controllers are fully supported, but I prefer to use my flight sticks and throttles and interact with the mouse. At the moment you can interact by placing the cursor, which is fixed in the middle of the view, and clicking with the mouse. I suggest adding the ability to move the cursor with the mouse. It's more comfortable that way. I'm very slow right now and I'm starting to lose control over the aircraft. Really realistic. Nozzle angle is ok, so now let's gain some speed. Uncage the missile and FOX 2. Exterior views are in 2D, likely because the camera moves and uh, in VR this can lead to motion sickness. However, I suggest finding a way to keep them in 3D perhaps by removing camera motion while in VR. Let's select Amram. You can use sensors to automatically lock onto a target, but you can also use your TDC to lock onto a target manually. The radar is well reproduced in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes. You can also switch through the different pages on the MFDs and set everything up. This action cam when you shoot is optional, it can be disabled in the option. Ok, 
Okay, missiles are finished, so let's go with the guns. This is a MiG-21 massacre. Also, the head-up display is well represented. The AI needs some improvements. I expected a more aggressive presence, but improvements are coming according to the roadmap. Okay, I'm already in range, but let me get closer to the target. Let's see how it behaves in defense. Okay, he's moving. Good. Now I think there's a hit. Yeah, he's starting to lose control. Okay. I think he is moving like this because he is damaged. And it is helping him a lot. No way. Come on. Hit. Splash one. Well, the overall experience is realistic, nice looking and fun. I think this sim is very promising. Now, it's time to RTB. Let's see if I can land this bird on the carrier. I've dabbled with the Harrier in this yes, so I'm sure this will be a piece of cake, right? Okay, let's rotate the nozzles to 85 degrees. Very good. Gears down. Quick check outside.
and touchdown. I'll definitely keep an eye on this sim. It looks very promising. A big thank you to Micropros for renting me access to the sim. I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!